hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel your favorite Ibrahim chapter celebrated his birthday on the 14th of october 2021 the actor in the early hours of thursday took to his social media timeline to celebrate himself Ibrahim chatter shared a lovely photo of himself to mark his birthday the caption saying and i quote alhamdulillah for life and provisions this beautiful new pay boy is plus one hashtag 41 years old well there are so many posts out there saying that ibrahim chatter is up to 50 years old some are saying he's 47 but now he has given you guys his actual age which is 41 years old well so many fans loved ones have come out to celebrate him beautifully surprising him with lovely cakes and presents and one of which is a protege under him showing so much love and writing a long episode piece to just to appreciate Ibrahim Chatter and the things he has done to inspire her. Nollywood actress Debbie Shokoya elogized her mentor and role model Ibrahim Chatter. His relentless effort towards her as he celebrates his 41 birthday. Well, recalling that the talented actor shared lovely photos of himself as he marked his birthday while thanking God for gift of life. Taking to her Instagram page, Debbie described the thespian as a father figure who is always ready to impact others, accommodating and friendly to his colleagues. Make sure to add that she admire him for his versatility and knowledge. Yes, we must give Ibrahim Chatter that he's very versatile and is not stereotyped. It is safe to say that Ibrahim Chatter interprets every role that he is given properly, whether it's a pastor, an imam, a child, a father, a husband, whatever role he is given, he interprets this role beautifully. And in the lengthy note that was shared by Debbie, she wrote, and I quote, The video was not planned. I wanted to enter him, but as an ever ready actor he carried me and the cab happy birthday to the one i call mentor not just because i respect his acting but because of his depth knowledgeable and always ready to impact into others never selfish most friendly and accommodative happy birthday father at ibrahim chatter lord thespies thank you for always inspiring supporting encouraging motivating educating and scolding me when necessary you make acting with you fun and full of lessons. You impact into me positively whenever we are both on set. You have helped me drive away fear. You told me to stand on my ground and go for it because I carry so much in me that I see or know. You have stretched me on set just because you want me to be unlimited. You made me know that feeling yourself isn't pride but self-belief. You are that teacher that do not only educate with words but also inspire one from afar. Thank you so much for being that person to relate with and learn from. I respect you and will forever do. Many more years, Lord Thespian. Stay blessed now and always. Omo Chata. I love you, mentor. This was Debbie sharing a comium on Ibrahim Chata and appreciating his good work as his protege. Well, it is no doubt that yes, truly, truly, Ibrahim Chata is good talented and sophisticated as well Bram chata who had ventured into acting at the age of 15 without his parent consent he said he would leave school to go for stage shows anywhere in the country without telling his parents Bram chata is a prolific nigerian an actor singer writer and producer he's from bachita located in edu local government area of Kwara state nigeria he has featured in and produced numerous yoruba movies and has produced over 100 soundtracks. He grew up in a large family of 14 and the mother originates from Mudakeke in Oshun State. Ibrahim Chata reportedly does not have a secondary school or higher education but became a successful Nollywood actor. Yes, like you mentioned before that, he usually runs away from school in an interview he had with Goldmine TV and since then he has started his craft as an actor chata commented saying and i quote everything happened because of the pressure of peers i was young i was attracted to everything new and i could not put my mind that education is so important since i was a child i wanted to become an actor but i had no idea that it would take so much as a result i left school in the third grade this was Ibrahim Chata explaining why he couldn't get a proper secondary school or tertiary education. It is safe to say that no one could actually pinpoint or tell if Ibrahim Chata 
didn't get or was unable to get a proper higher education because he speaks well and he coordinates himself well and it is safe to say also that education is not just about the four walls of a school you could be educated in whatever area you decide to venture into and he has done pretty well with that when it comes to nollywood acting singing script acting and production there is no way we'll mention Ibrahim Chata and not may talk about his private life he was once married to a popular actress in the Yoruba movie industry whose name is Olaika Solomon well Olaika Solomon now is happily married to Mabinori and she is now called and referred to as Mrs. Mabinori however what led to their separation it was supposed to be the first wife she confirmed the rumor that what caused the separation of her fight with her partner was assault and battery relaying her side of the story Olayinka confirmed to the media that the actor was the first ever partner and man who devoured her following this she decided to give herself to him hoping he would come to her for marital introduction as expected and part of the tradition and tribal marriage rights when he has enough money unfortunately this didn't happen and things didn't go as planned between the two she got pregnant in 2007 with a series of constant beatings from Ibrahim Tata made her lose the baby and in 2009 she eventually gave birth to a son whose name is Malik her mother was around to help her to navigate a new demand of motherhood as her partner was nowhere to be found she said Ibrahim Chata eventually came back home and he came back with a girlfriend. Strangely, he apologized to her and told that the lady would be staying for a few days, but a few days turns to weeks and months. She took it upon herself to cook for the two of them. But after he, she confronted him, it still resulted into a series of beating. Well, in Ibrahim's defense, he said he'd never and will never be a wife beater. The only thing that he did was to raise his hand and slap Olayinka Solomon. He said he couldn't even condone her indecent dressing and other attitude that came with it, stating that the mother of his child never stayed at home whenever he was away shooting a movie. Moving on to the second wife of Ibrahim Chata, who is Salama to Mohammed Lafiaji, daughter of former governor of Kwara State. What led to the bone of contention between these two was when Salamata's mother came to visit her in a matrimonial home and found out that the living condition was constructed to what she trained a child to have lived well salamati moved in in 2012 and she found out eventually that chata was a womanizer and a gold digger after her money the very thing like card accused chata of according to her he found a way of emptying an account without her knowledge and Ibrahim Chata had beaten her to the point of miscarriage, hence they had to go their separate way. In Ibrahim Chata's defense, he said he was living in a four-bedroom apartment with two living rooms. Well, he usually had people around and that was one thing his wife usually complained about. But that he was living a low-standard life was not part of it. Well, if other defended himself saying that he would never be a woman beta or a wife beta and he's not a gold digger, that he did everything within his power to make sure that he keeps the marriage. Even though he found out and heard over the phone that Salamati was selling a sister that she was pretending all along and that she didn't love him. Well, moving on to his third wife, he tied the knot in 2016 as well with another budding actress, Olaide Aishat, also known as Lizzie Berry. As if that Ibrahim had gotten Olaide pregnant while he was still married to Salamatu. During the wedding, Nollywood actress Tony Ibrahim gave her blessings to the couple as Chata's family and friends prayed that he gets it right on the third marriage. Well, so far so good, it is safe to say that Ibrahim Chata has finally got it right with Olaide Aishat. And moving on, uh, fast forward to what brought us to today's just which is Ibrahim Chata celebrating his birthday. We say a very big happy belated birthday to the Lord Thespia and Ibrahim Chata. Long life and prosperity. Well guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.